price up how to the games under £20 PSN sale. There were so many games in this sale, it was really hard to find the best games as there was a ton to look through. But don't worry, I've done my best and I've found some really cool games for you to look at that can save you a ton of money as well. So subscribe if you like saving money and finding some cool games to play. You're welcome here anytime. Okay, this sale ends on the 29th of March, so that'll be your last day to pick up these deals. Let's look at the games. First up is Amnesia The Collection. It was released in 2016, so it's 7 years old, but the games are much older than that really, and they're on a 90% discount for the low price of £2.39, which is a really good deal, as this collection includes 3 full games, Amnesia The Dark Descent, Amnesia A Machine for Pigs, and Amnesia Justine. In these survival horror games, you first play as Daniel. Waking with amnesia in a desolate and eerie castle, he must escape while piecing together his troubled memories. And in the second, wealthy industrialist Oswald wakes, racked with fever, knowing he must save his children as you're haunted by hellish dreams. And finally in the third game, a demented mind has constructed a series of trials for Justine to survive. But will you save yourself, or help others instead? The people that like these games really like these games. They were very popular, and they're still popular now. If you like survival horror games, you're getting so much content for your money, you can't go far wrong really. And hey, if you've never played a survival horror before, then this is a great place to start. You're getting three games, which normally I wouldn't recommend, because if you don't like them, you're stuck with three games. But at this price, you're going to get your money's worth whatever happens. So if you're interested at all, why not take a look? Next up is my star buy. Haven Colony Deluxe Edition. It was released in 2017, so it's 6 years old, and it's on an 85% discount for the low price of £3.74, which is dirt cheap and the cheapest I've ever seen it, as this edition includes the Cerulean Veil vale DLC as well, so you're getting the complete vision of the game, which is really great at this price. In this game, you get to build massive sprawling cities on Avon Prime, an alien planet full of deserts, tundras, and wetlands. You get to manage your colony while exploring the planet, discovering its ancient secrets and alien wildlife. This game looks really awesome. I'm a big fan of city management games, and this may not be the most complicated one ever made, but it's still really cool, and I like the theme of it. So if you're a fan of city management games, why not check it out? It's pretty decent, and it's at a good price. And if you've never played a city management game before, this is a great place to start. It's pretty cheap, and it's way more accessible than some of the more complicated ones, so it's a fantastic place to start. If you've ever wanted to try one, I'd recommend this one. Like I said, it's my star buy. It's definitely worth your time. Why not take a look at it? We have a visual novel next, C14 Dating, PS4 and PS5. It was released in 2023, so it's brand new, and it's on a 70% discount for the price of £4.79, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really good deal especially for an anime visual novel, they're usually much more pricey than this. In this game you get to play as Melissa Flores, a third year anthropology student who moves to Belgium for a summer internship, and you have two months to unearth some ancient bones and date a variety of men while you're at it. It features four men to date, mini games, and a secret Yuri romance as well. Now I don't play visual novels, but I have seen playthroughs of some of them, and some of them can be quite entertaining, even if I'm not that interested in playing them myself. But this one looks pretty decent. It may not be one of the crazy ones that's a bit out there. It looks like pretty run of the mill. But hey, it also looks like it's a decent game. At a really good price as well. So if you're interested in visual novels and you haven't picked this one up yet. You might want to check it out. I think you'll probably have a good time playing it. And hey, if you've never played a visual novel before. Then I would recommend starting with this one. They're very varied. So it doesn't really matter which one you start with in general. But if you like the look of this one. It's at a really good price as well, so you can't go far wrong with it. You might just find your new favourite genre that you never knew about. So why not take a look at it? You might just surprise yourself and have a great time. Next up, we have Children of Mortar Complete Edition. It was released in 2021, so it was two years old. And it's on a 70% discount for the price of £6.59, which is the cheapest I've ever seen here. And a pretty good deal, especially as this edition includes all of the free updates. And both the Ancient Spirits and Paws and Claws DLCs with the new characters, systems, events, items, and more. So you're getting a lot of extra content included, which is really great. In this roguelike action RPG, you get to play as an entire family of adventuring heroes, as you hack and slash hordes of enemies in procedurally generated dungeons, caves, and lands to fight the encroaching corruption. It features seven characters to play as, and offline and online co-op as well, so it's a good game to play with your mates, or your kid or partner. In general, I'm not a fan of roguelikes, but this action RPG looks like a pretty interesting one, and I like the art style as well, 
So if you're a big fan of action RPGs, especially the 2D ones, and you like roguelikes, you might want to check this out. It might just be a really cool game that you never knew existed. And hey, if you've never played a roguelike action RPG before, then this might be a good place to start. There are others you can get that are cheaper, but this includes a ton of content, and it looks like a quality game as well. So if you're interested in it, why not take a look? I think you'll really enjoy it. Deadlight Director's Cut is our next game. It was released in 2016, so it's 7 years old, and it's on an 85% discount for the low price of £1.29, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really low price, especially as this edition includes improved gameplay, controls, and two new game modes as well, so again, the best version of the game, with extra content as well, which is really good. This is a 2D survival adventure game, and this edition includes improved gameplay, controls, and two new game modes. This is set in a zombie apocalypse where you play as Randall Wayne, a father searching through a destroyed Seattle for his long lost family. You must fight, sneak and utilise your environment and limited resources in order to succeed and maybe even find your family. This game had great reviews and it seems pretty decent and at this price you're not investing a lot of money. So if you're looking for a cool little indie game you might want to think about this one. We have a VR game next, Lucky's Tale. It was released in 2022 so it's only a year old and it's on a 70% discount for the price of £4.49, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really good deal, especially for a VR game, as this edition is remastered for modern VR, with improved controls as well, so you're getting the best version of the game, which is really great. In this VR platformer, you get to play as Lucky the Brave Fox, trying to rescue his friend Piggy from the tentacled monster Glorp. It features hidden secrets, boss battles, and level challenges for replayability. So if you're a fan of platformers like Super Mario, you'll really enjoy this game. I've played some platformers in VR before. It's really cool to be stood there watching them jump around the land and stuff. It's just a great experience, it really is. So if you're a fan of platformers, why not take a look at this? You can't go far wrong. Fans of VR on platformers will definitely like this game. And hey, if you've never played a VR platformer before, then there's a few options around. But this is a really good quality one at a pretty decent price. So if you're not sure, you can always wait for another sale. But this is good enough for me right now. If you like the look of it, go for it. It's a good deal. Next up, we have Mad Max. It was released in 2015, so it's 8 years old. And it's on a 75% discount for the low price of £3.99. Which is the cheapest I've ever seen it. And a really great deal. In this third person open world action game, which is based on the cult classic movies, if you haven't seen them, I recommend them, they're really good. You get to play as Mad Max in an apocalyptic wasteland where cars are the key to survival, and you get to fight for survival and scavenge for supplies to build and customise your ultimate car for the unique car based combat system that's in the game. I wasn't really expecting a Mad Max game to be announced when this came out, but hey, Fury Road really brought it back into pop culture, and that's a good thing. I may not like Fury Road, hate me in the comments, but the original films are amazing and it deserves a game of this quality for it. So if you always wanted to be a survivor in an apocalyptic wasteland with amazing cars where fuel is the only thing worth fighting for, then you'll have a lot of fun with this series. It's a really good open world game with a really cool combat mechanic with the car system. So I think if you like that sort of thing, you'll have a great time with it. It may not be remembered much now, but it's a really good game. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at it. And hey, if you've never played an open world action game before, this is a really good one, and it's a bit unique as well with the car combat system. It may not be the best one around, but it's definitely a really good one. So if you're interested, it's not a bad place to start. Why not take a look if you like the sound of it? We have an action RPG next, Moonlighter Complete Edition. It was released in 2020, so it's three years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the low price of £3.79 which is really great, as this edition includes the Between the Dimensions expansion, with new dungeons to play in, and new enemies to fight, which is really great. In this action RPG, you play Will, an adventurous shopkeeper who travels through gates to other dimensions, fighting creatures and collecting treasure to sell at your shop. It features roguelike and RPG elements, with a beautiful art style that is really great. It's like a souped up retro art style, which just looks really cool. This is quite a different game, but fans of roguelike RPGs will really enjoy this, or people that like games that are a bit different as well. All in all, it's a really good game at a really good discount. Well worth taking a look at. We have an RPG next, Outward the Adventurer Bundle. It was released in 2019, so it's 4 years old, and it's on a 75% discount for the price of £8.24, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really good deal as this bundle includes both of the expansions, the Soroborians and the Three Brothers, so you get a ton of extra content included, which is really good. 
This game is a unique open world RPG that features dynamic quests that react to your decisions with an autosave system that ensures you are locked into your decisions, survival elements, magic, two-player local co-op, and it promises a different experience every playthrough, which I believe with this sort of dedication with the save system. So if you're a fan of open world RPG games, and you always wish there was a permadeath feature, this game's right up your alley. It may not be for everyone, but the people that play it really love it. So if you like the sound of it, definitely check it out. It's different, and it's really cool as well. And hey, if you've never played an RPG before, then I'm not sure I'd recommend starting with this one. It's kind of like hard mode. If you really like the sound of it, go for it. But if you're not sure, I'd recommend starting with a different RPG instead. So why not subscribe, and I'll find you a cheaper AAA one in another sale. We have a platformer next, Planet Alpha. It was released in 2018, so it's 5 years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the low price of £1.59, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really good deal. In this platformer, after being marooned on an alien world full of mystery and danger, you must harness the power of night and day to escape the relentless enemies and survive. Hopefully you'll piece together your story as you explore this strange world, and even get your freedom if you can. This looks like a really cool, aesthetically pleasing action platformer. The graphics are beautiful. The level design looks amazing. If you're a fan of old school platformers, you should definitely do yourself a favour and check this game out. It's really great, it's really cool, and it's at a great price as well. If you like platformers, definitely check it out. And hey, if you've never played a platformer before, this is a really good place to start. It's a really good, high quality modern one, at a really great price. So if you've always been tempted to try them out, or you're looking for another one to play, why not take a look at this one? I don't think you can go far wrong with it. Next up, a game that's not my star by Robinson The Journey. It was released in 2016, so it's 7 years old, and it's on a 90% discount for the low price of £2.49, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a phenomenal deal for a VR game of this quality. This VR game has no move controller support, so you can play it without, you don't need to worry about it. In this VR adventure, you get to play as Robin, a child whose escape pod crash lands on an alien world, and alone and scared, you must explore the dinosaur-infested jungles with your AI friend Higgs, searching for other survivors to help you survive and call for help. I bought this at launch for my PSVR, and I loved it. To this day, it's one of the best adventure games I've played in VR. The dinosaurs, the jungles, the atmospheric world, it really drew me in. I felt like I was there. It feels like I went on holiday to a dinosaur planet, not played a game. I can't recommend it highly enough. This may not be my star buy, but here's the deal. It's not going to be ported for PS5, and it's not going to have a PSVR 2 version, ever. And this is a really good game. It's one of my favourite VR adventure games ever, so if you're ever going to play this game, it's really now or never. If you're interested at all, do me a favour and pick it up. I'm sure you'll really enjoy it. And hey, if you haven't played a VR adventure game before, this is one of the best I've played, and it's also one of the cheapest right now, so I can't say much more than that. I would definitely recommend it to anyone. Check it out, especially if you like getting chased through the woods by Velociraptors. It's an experience, that's for sure. Take a look. Warhammer Vermintide 2 Ultimate Edition is our next game. It was released in 2018, so it's 5 years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £8.99, which is really good, as this edition includes two expansions and some other extras as well. So you're getting the complete version of the game with a ton of extra content, which is really good. In this first person hack and slash, you fight together with three friends against the forces of Chaos and Skaven. It features a new faction, 15 career paths, talent trees, new weapons, an improved loot system, and more. This game is basically a Left 4 Dead ripoff, but Warhammer themed and with melee weapons instead of ranged, mostly anyway. So if you like the idea of grabbing three friends and having a great time together, murdering a load of enemies and making it to the end alive, you'll have a great time with this game, especially if you love Warhammer. And hey, if you've never played a game like this before, which I wouldn't be surprised because it's quite unique, then you might want to take a look at it, because it's a really good game. And I doubt you'll see a lot of games like this made in the future, so it's pretty unique in that way. We have an action-adventure game next. Windbound. It was released in 2020, so it's 3 years old, and it's on a 90% discount for the price of £1.59, which is dirt cheap, and the cheapest I've ever seen it. In this action-adventure game, you get to play as Kara, who's been shipwrecked on an uncharted island, where you must explore while crafting the tools and weapons to survive, as the island's wildlife tries to kill you, while searching the ancient ruins, in search of a way to escape the island alive. This game had mixed reviews when it came out, and it looks like a bit of a Zelda ripoff. 
But hey, it's at a really good price, and it looks pretty decent. So if you like the look of it, then you might want to take a look at it. Especially at this price, it may just be worth playing. And hey, if you've never played an action adventure before, then I'm not sure I'd recommend starting with this one. There's plenty of others you can get at this price, and ones that weren't so mixed reaction when they came out. So if you like the sound of an action adventure, you might want to look around for something else, or subscribe, and then you won't miss out when the next ones come on sale. And the final game I have for you is Wolfenstein The New Order. It was released in 2014, so it's 9 years old, and it's on a 75% discount for the low price of £3.74, which is dirt cheap and a really great deal. This first person shooter is set in 1960s World War II, where the tide has turned, using new mysterious advanced technology, and the regime now dominates the world with an iron fist, and only you with a band of dedicated resistance fighters can fight back to find the truth and rewrite history for the better. This is from a legendary series of first person shooters, and they're old school, and I don't mean bad, I mean they've got a really good story, and really good gameplay, so none of this all multiplayer kind of focused stuff. So if you like me, and you like your games with more story, and you like first person shooters, definitely check this out, they're a series that's well worth playing, and at this price, you can't go far wrong. And hey, if you've never played a first person shooter before, this is a good series to start with, it's single player story focused, and the gameplay and gunplay is really good in them. Definitely recommend it. If you're interested at all, why not check it out? And hey, the Old Blood standalone prequel is also on sale for the same price and discount. So if you're interested in both of them, now's the time to pick them up. They have been on this discount before, but they don't come around very often. It's been years since the last time they were this price. Well worth picking up at this discount. And that's all the games I have for the Games Under £20 PSN sale. What did you think of the games I picked? Did I pick good ones or did I pick bad ones? And what about the star buy? Did it deserve it? Or should some other game have got it instead? Leave all your complaints down in the comments and we can talk about it later. Anyway, I hope you guys found some games you're interested in. But more importantly, I hope you saved a lot of money. I'll see you guys in the next sale. Oil Vow.